Hello guys, this is Anish Vijay with another tutorial on Cinema 4D and this is a pretty interesting tutorial I would think uh, because I go through a few things like how to get a torch to emit flames and this is a pretty important thing and you can do a lot of things with it and how to make transparent, um, I mean uh, see-through objects and how to make like other things so I'm gonna first go through go to objects uh, this is how to make a scene so go to objects go to scene and then go and press on flow and this will save you a lot of time making a plane so get a new te texture by click double clicking on this bar here off specular and then go into texture and load an image so we want the grass top because we want our scene to have grass and I will put the download for these PNGs so grass top that we want just the top of the grass I'm going to go through how to get the texture also and you want to put sampling to none otherwise it comes out blurry in the render so we just place that on top here we drag it and drop it and then we want to set projection click on the texture if you don't see this this options here and then you want to set projection to cubic and set the towers 2 and 2 so these so now we should have everything set up so we don't have to make a huge plane see now everything is when you render it everything is grass so now I got that done now let's make a see-through object so let's and I'm also going to go through how to make objects glow okay so uh, we want to set the size to 100 100 100 that's in the objects options so you want to go into objects and now we have a Minecraft size and we want to position it on this flow so we want to put the go to coordinates of the object and type 50 on each axis and then we have it in place and I've already gone through this click on the move tool go to snap settings enable this thing called move and set this at 100 centimeters so now it moves every time 100 centimeters so now we have the Minecraft everything set up so now we want our texture for leaves because we want to make some leaves because someone uh, commented and I'm gladly uh, showing you how to do this. So I'll go to getting the texture now. Wait, I have the leaves, so let's get the leaves. Uh, leaves transparent. And how I got the leaves to be the correct color is... I'll show you. Wait. Uh, now go to alpha and you want to tick the box in alpha and go into texture, if I load the same image leaves transparent which is what I named it make sure you name them the correct name then you just want to drag it onto your cube and yeah that's it so we got our texture and don't worry about that blackness there you can just move it exactly like let me show you let's get this coordinates Let's put 50.0001 or something. I don't know, that doesn't look 50.01. So now we shouldn't get that. Yeah. If you put it like, if you make the plane just a little bit, sorry, the flow a little bit lower, like 0 0.1 centimeters, it doesn't make a difference, but it's okay. So now let's get a torch. How to make that is if we have to go into Photoshop. And I'll put the download for this terrain PNG and I wanted to show you that um, as you can see the gr the grass and the leaves are not gray and this is not a normal terrain PNG I'll put the download I already have it in my PNG folder if you download that we should have it so the torch now we want to every pixel is 6.25 centi uh, yeah 6.25 centimeters in cinema 4d so this is the top of the um, the, the 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 so you oh, this is the top of the torch so you want to crop this and save it press enter crop tool is this by the way press enter save it whatever you want make sure it's appropriate name then press alt command z to go back find your torch again crop this bottom and save it and then you want to crop the entire thing which is this side and then we have our texture and yeah so we get those three textures so we load that and I'm just gonna get that the bottom oh I have to get the bottom I forgot to do that sorry 
So I'll just demonstrate. I want to get the bottom of the torch. So Alt Command S to save as and torch bottom. Oh, I already have it. So I'm oh, sorry, I didn't know that. Okay, so we load that texture. No, I don't want to create a new texture. G. Oh, I think it's in my other folder. Sorry. Oh, there it is. Wow, it's alone. So set MIP to none, and we have the bottom of the torch. So we want to count how big the torch is now to get the correct size. So it's 10 pixels tall and 2 pixels wide. So that's 12 point. How tall it is is on the y axis, and the z and x axis is the width. So let's write that down. Get a new cube. Set the coordinates. Set the si coordinates. Let's set the coordinates to 50. And object size. Now we want to set that uh, size on the x axis is 2 pixels, so it's 12.5. Size on the y, how tall it is, is 10 times 60, 6.25 is 62.5, and 4.5. And now we have our torch. Perfect. Pretty simple, in my opinion. Now we want to texture it. So let's just bring it up a bit so we can texture the bottom. Now we want to make it editable, so click on this box here and want to click this faces. Oh, by the way, if you can't see what I'm doing, you just make it full screen and it should be, you should be able to see every word and everything. So you want to press U and L to make a shortcut, so it selects all the sides now. U and L. And just select all the sides and then you want to drag the texture you want on it and then you should have that now let's get the top texture oops let's name it actually okay torch and get oh my god top select the top and make sure you have the radius to zero click on your move tool and you should see the preferences there so now let's move the top into place this position Okay, oh my god, the texture. Where's the texture? Oh, I loaded it in alpha. Yeah, I don't want to load it in alpha. Uh, that happened to me more than one time. And I'm like, how is this happening? There's no texture. So don't get mixed up with alpha and color. Okay, so now we have the texture. Now we want to emit flames. Oh, forgot this. So click on your top texture. We want the torch to glow in the correct place. So this is our top texture and the side also, kinda. So we want to go to glow, tick the, tick the box, then we should have these preferences and we want to, we can mess around with this outer strength until you want, until you get to your desired glow I guess. So let's set it to like that. And now when we render it should glow. Yeah, as you can see it's glowing very little but yeah, so now let's make the emitter so it emits flames. So you click on hold and click on this emitter. And you should see a lot of things there. Friction, turbulence. And we have our emitter here and we want a new cube and this is what we want it to emit. We want it to emit this cube. So let's put the size to like a flame. By the way, you can texture it differently than me. I'm just going to go through the basics and you can figure out the rest. So we're going to set it to 5. Uh, let's set it to 3. And you can make it more realistic than this, trust me. And let's just put the the, 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 fl the flame texture on it. The torch top texture on it. And we don't want to move the coordinates just yet. Just position, position it back to default and it's in the middle of the emitter. So now we have our flames, this is the flames by the way, this cube, and you just drag it into your emitter. And now we have it combined and the emitter is the parent of the cube. So whenever we click on the emitter, emitter, you should be able to drag it with that cube in the middle. So uh, we have that done. And if you want, you can even hide the cube. So you just press X, uh, press this tick, it should be hidden but you can't really see it in the render so it's okay so select your emitter and go to coordinates and set the P this P 
which is the rotation in to, to 90 and it should rotate 90 degrees now what you want to do is position it in the correct place alright let's put this coordinates to 50 oh no 50 ah uh, no I had that I set this to 250 and set this are you serious negative 450 so now we should have it in a good position and bring it down and that's not a good position let's put this to 200 okay that looks okay oh uh, not really but yeah ah oh, the x 150 okay thank you now let's just bring it down 175 uh, 180 I uh, see two pixels so we need that to be divisible so 182.5 okay that's okay I guess yeah, I hope okay just you can mess with that and get it into correct position make it uh, don't make it editable just click on scale and make that blue thing go down just drag, drag it and it's not in position but it's okay okay now when we render if we move these frames to the right a bit and if you move it a lot and you render you should emit the cube we put in see as you can see it's emitting it perfectly and if you want you can even click on the cube sorry the flames and you can mess with the properties so let's set this to 3 3 and 3 that's the size so don't worry it won't show in the render that but yeah it's working see it even varies the size for you you can mess with the no you can mess with the size if you go and click on your emitter and go to particles you can set a birth rate editor is how many you want to come out of it at one time and stop emission at 150 frames so it just st completely stops at 150 frames and lifetime you want to set at around 30 because if you set it to 150 or something 600 that means your flames will go up and over the ceiling so at 30 it'll just die out and then it'll restart again so it keeps it stays in this area as you can see and speed you know what speed is rotation it'll rotate while going up variation variation is how how much it varies like the speed will vary if you set it to 100 the lifetime will vary how much so yeah that's pretty much straightforward yeah and now it, because we messed uh, we made this texture glow it should all glow perfectly yeah they're glowing so everything's working so you can do this 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 glow thing for glowstone also and what else do I have to go through in this tutorial? Hmm. Let's get to lighting a bit actually. So if you hold down here and click on light, you should get a light and select your move tool. And you can drag it to whatever position you want. You can mess with the settings of that. But there's already a tutorial on that, so I'm not gonna go through it. And one more thing is rigging in Cinema 4D R12 is very bad in my opinion and my uh, my uh, might be a good option for animating but I lately uh, I just discovered that um, cinema 4d r13 has added so much of new software for rigging so don't worry about rigging in cinema 4d so don't think of switching to a new software just yet just try out the new cinema 4d r r13 um thing and yeah so you sh I'll put a link for this cool video about the R13 R13 our new features and it's a very like it's I was about to switch to a different thing until I saw that video and yeah so thanks for watching make sure to subscribe if you're a fan of Minecraft and a fan of Cinema 4D because that's what I do <laughs> and yeah Thanks for watching.